why narcissists minimize you. Why do they put you down? Why do they act like you're not worth anything? Why do they treat you as though you're of little importance? Narcissists are very envious and jealous. They feel discontented and resentful when they have to witness your possessions, qualities or luck because they decide to have what you have. They may not admit it, but they secretly admire what you do. They see it as something impressive, but it begins to eat away at them because they begin to see that you can achieve maximum productivity with minimal wasted effort or expense. They begin to see that you are working in a well-organized and competent way and it makes them hate you because they know that what you're doing is real. You achieve things just by being who you are. You attract people just by being you. You don't have to pretend to be something you're not. While the narcissist has to deceive people, they have to put on an act by unjustifiably claiming or being credited with accomplishments or qualities which they know they are not deserving of. Which means that they already know they shouldn't even be with you because you have all of these good things in your life. While they're not about anything, they're not doing a fraction of what you're doing, which is why they cannot compliment you. They cannot give you praise or admiration. They cannot congratulate you. Because otherwise you would start to see that they're sitting back and doing nothing. You would see that they're not about anything. Because narcissists are only doing enough to manage their difficulties to live. They're doing the bare minimum. So they're not going to do anything for you that is to a greater degree than normal. They're not going to treat you in a way that is more than average or usual. You're only going to get tiny fragments. They're going to give you the smallest possible quantity, which is going to be the least fulfilling. So you may be brilliant or excellent at something, but the narcissist is not providing anything for you. So if they keep telling you how great you are, eventually you're going to look at them and wonder what you're even doing with them because you're not happy with them. You're constantly arguing, you're under a lot of stress. So what is the purpose of being with them? Which is why they have to prevent you from coming to this conclusion. And they do that by putting you down, by minimizing you. Because then you're not going to look at them as being ineffective. You're not going to see that they are of little significance. You're not going to see that you are better off without them. They want you to feel like you can't do any better. As though no one else would want you. Which is why they don't like you being too happy or excited. They don't like you being too confident, popular or successful. They have to reduce your worth and importance. By telling you all of the things they don't like about you. They have to insult you. 
They have to attack everything that is morally good and desirable about you to make you feel like you're not worth anything. To make you think you're not as great as you think you are. Until you start showing a modest or low estimate of your importance. Because that's exactly how they want you to be when you're around them. They want you to be walking around with your head down. They want you to be feeling like you're not good enough. Because they don't want you to be better than them. You have to bring yourself down so that they can feel more comfortable. So that they can have all of the attention and praise. Even if you improve on the very things they're complaining about, the arguments will continue. They have to break you down so that you remain around them. Because you're not aware of your worth, you don't know how valuable you are. So you end up trying to meet the standards and expectations of someone who is beneath you. Someone who isn't even on your level. Because they've managed to trick you into believing that they're more valuable to you than you are to them. They've managed to trick you into thinking that your presence or behavior is likely to put them at a disadvantage. They pull you into these arguments where they then make you doubt your qualities and abilities because it gives them power, because they want to make you feel inferior. They want you to feel like you're less than them because that is the only way they're going to be able to be attentive and involved. If you knew you could do better, you wouldn't stick around. If you knew your worth, you would have left immediately. But when they're minimizing you, you're unable to find your way. You're disorientated. You're off the right track. You're unable to understand or cope with the situation. But when you know who you are, it's over. You get yourself out of there. But unfortunately, many victims stick around to entertain the narcissist's words. They stick around to hear all of the insults and put downs. When that should reveal to you that you're dealing with a narcissist. Because if a person is confident and comfortable with themselves, your happiness will be important to them. If they have love for themselves, they will have love for you. But narcissists can't stand to see you happy. They can't stand to see you receiving attention and praise. Which is why they always have to make you feel like you've done something wrong. As though you've made the wrong decision. They're full of negativity. Because they're trying to take away your acknowledgement of your own worth. They may constantly complain to you and say that you're not doing something right. But they don't actually want you to grow or accomplish anything. That's the last thing they want to see. They want you to stay down. They want to see you rise and fall. They want to see you confused. They do not want you to be happy or satisfied with anything because as long as they can keep you down, they can keep you in the loop. Whenever you're in a state of calm or not being worried, they have to throw you into confusion and disorder. 
They have to keep you feeling depressed. They're always thinking of ways to alienate you. They're always thinking of ways to arouse hostility in you. Because they get pleasure out of provoking you. They get pleasure out of tormenting you. They're desperate for attention. So they don't mind if it's negative. As long as you notice them. They're always playing games with you. If something doesn't turn out the way they expected, they will suddenly say that it was wrong. They become self-righteous because they always have to feel superior. They have to feel like they're right and you're wrong. They have to make you feel like you're not worth anything, which is why they will constantly minimize you. But you should remember everything you went through to become the person you are today. You should remember all of the work you put in and all of the trials and tribulations you had to go through because that takes strength and they couldn't walk a mile in your shoes. So don't let them play it down. They have ill intentions. They're trying to hurt you. They're not trying to help. Which means they're not going to be any good for you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.